Alrighty guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today, uh, a little bit different of a video. Um, so what I want to do here is kind of, I want to explain something that happened recently and explain my uh, mindset going forward. Uh, so yesterday on the channel, I actually uploaded a video talking about the content creator, TikToker, uh, social media influencer. Her name is Exo Brooklyn. And in that video, I was talking about how um, she started off being a like body positive influencer. And then she recently actually uh, released this video. Uh, it was a music video to this song, which is called My Crown. So it's this, uh, this video right here. And in the, uh, in the comments of the video, there were a lot of people saying, I love that she went from everybody's body is beautiful to I'm better than everyone. Um, she really went from everyone is amazing in their own way to everyone wants to be like me, blah, blah. So when I saw that, when I saw those comments on this video, I was like, wow, that's really interesting because something that has been really interesting and still continues to be really interesting to me are people that gain a massive following from being like body positive. So she would make a lot of posts on her Instagram and stuff. Uh, talking about, you know, love your body. She would show her stomach and like her rolls and stuff like that. I'm not trying to sound mean, but that's kind of what the posts were and be like, oh, you should love your body, right? And so I've always thought it's really interesting um, when people go from that's their, that's how they came up, right? That's how they became popular to how do you then, you know, parlay that into something else, into another a different type of career, right? And so what she's kind of done is she has parlayed that into what is currently right now a music career. Now, there's a bunch of debate whether or not this is actually like a real music career that she's trying to do or not. Uh, there was a video that I found that I thought did a really good job explaining it. It's this one right here. It's from the YouTuber Grayson's Projects, and it says, Exo Brooklyn is actually a genius, and we're all being played. And so I'll link that video down below if you're kind of confused as to what's going on, because I know a lot of you guys didn't see my previous video, because I actually got rid of that video. So that's kind of what today, what I wanted to talk about. So I actually uh, privated the video. A big reason was because, honestly, that video, it like I am really interested and curious and I still am about the whole going from being a body positive influencer to parlaying that into something else. That is something that is incredibly interesting to me. And it seems like that is what's happening here. Now, a big reason why I decided to take the video down is that Brooklyn actually is a minor. So she's, she's 17 years old. And I didn't mention that in my video. I did know that while I recorded it. I, I just, I just didn't mention it. It didn't even really come to my mind. Um, do I think that you can make videos being critical of minors on the internet? Yes, I do think that you can. I think I should have been a little bit more upfront and like made it very clear, you know, this is a minor. And in my video, I, I don't feel like I really like, attacked her or anything like that. <clears throat> I wasn't, I don't think the video was at all like me being mean or anything like that. But I just think that one, I could have done a better job explaining my thoughts and explaining how I feel about the situation. And two, again, like I said, it just isn't something or wasn't something that I am super uh, passionate about. Now, when it comes to my channel, something that has actually recently, um, I've, I'm doing recently is I actually stopped doing the live streams because I want to make videos where I'm able to, uh, you know, dig a little bit deeper and do a little bit more research and really get into the videos that I'm making. And I just wasn't able to do that while I was live streaming. And this again was a thing that I was super interested in and I felt like I did a good amount of research, but there's just so much stuff behind it that I, you know, I missed out on and I maybe didn't really understand. And it seems like a lot of the following that follows her and a lot of people really do think that this whole music thing and kind of changing up her whole persona is almost a joke and it's almost like a it's like it's like satire right and so that's kind of what I felt like anyways but again it didn't change the fact that I thought that this was a very interesting you know case of okay I am someone that is popular I gain my popularity through being a body positive influencer and then turning that into something else um, you know it's just something that is interesting to me and I think that I st it's still something that I do want to talk about but I think maybe finding someone that is a little bit just a, a better example of that and that isn't a minor now so the reason that I took the video down were all of those reasons and you know for me it's really important that like if I have a video on my channel I want to be able to stand behind what I said 
So in that video, I just, again, I don't feel like I was mean or anything like that, but I just feel like I could have done a better job and I feel like I could have done more research. I could have really, and especially not even with the research, but sharing my thoughts and my, um, my feelings a lot better. Because again, the whole reason I made the video is because I wanted to talk about that whole going from being a positive body positive influencer to turning into something else. Like that is and still is really, really interesting to me. So I took the video down just because I saw some comments and I was like, you know what? I agree with these uh, people that were being kind of critical of the video. I, I didn't have much of a dog in the fight. I wasn't super one way or the other. It was more me just trying to share this phenomenon that's kind of going on and then share my opinion. And I just didn't really, you know, stand behind what I had said fully. So when it comes to the channel and when it comes to the videos that I'm making, I want to be able to stand behind what I've said in my videos. And when it comes to the videos that are on my channel now, like I stand behind what I said, I, I believe what I said, and I, believe, I, I, I have conviction on those words, right? With that video, it was more kind of like me trying to talk about this underlying thing while the top, you know, was like this whole video, music video, song, is it real, is it fake? But I was trying to go deeper than that and I just, I feel like maybe I just didn't do a very good job. So, I, again, I'm not trying to sit here and be over dramatic or anything like that, but I just wanted to share my thoughts and I, I did make a community post about this, but those don't really reach everybody. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to share my thoughts for the people that were going to watch the video. And then it all of a sudden, like, disappeared. I wanted to explain why it disappeared. And, you know, moving forward, I am excited to make videos that are a little bit deeper, that have a little bit more research. And, you know, hopefully I just do a better job sharing my thoughts and my opinions. Uh, but with that being said, that's pretty much everything that I have to say. I can't really think of anything else. But, yeah, thanks for watching the video. And I, I hope you understand.